Welcome back to Coffee with the Calvinist. My name is Keith Foskey and I am a Calvinist. I'm coming to you on location from the backyard of Sovereign Grace Family Church today. This is uh, our camp week here at uh, our karate club that we have here at Sovereign Grace Family Church. And so I wanted to take an opportunity while we're on break to do our daily Bible study for you. And today we're gonna to be in Luke 15. And in Luke 15, we see uh, toward the middle and end of the chapter, we see uh, the parable of the lost coin and we see the parable of the prodigal son. And in the middle of that, there's a short passage which says that there is joy in the midst of the angels when one sinner repents. That one statement sort of ties those two parables together because the parable of the, the lost coin and the parable of the prodigal son is the idea of something that was lost that's found or something that was, was dead that's been raised. And that is a picture of the joy of a sinner coming to repentance and coming to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's a picture of someone going from death to life. That's a picture of someone going who was lost and now has been found. As the, as the great Amazing Grace says, I, uh, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. And so this passage, the, 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 the coin and the prodigal son is about something that has been lost and has again been found. And what I wanna talk about today is the, the idea of how sometimes in Calvinism, I, I, I fear that we can take a very stoic approach to salvation and to repentance. And we can come to the idea, well, if God's gonna save somebody, he's gonna save somebody. And therefore, if somebody comes to repentance, you know, we ought to just, uh, well, that's what that was God's work and they didn't have anything to do with it. And while that's true, God is the one who does the work in salvation. We should still rejoice when someone repents because the Bible says there's rejoicing in the midst of the angels when one sinner repents. So we should not take a stoic and sanitized approach to salvation. We should take a joyous and excited approach. When we see a sinner go from life to death, we know that God has done that work. God has changed that heart. God has opened it up for them to believe. But don't think for a minute that that means that it's sterile. That makes it even more tremendously wonderful. And, and we should never say, oh, well, that was just something God did. Therefore, it's not something to rejoice in. No, it's something God did. And therefore, it's something to rejoice all the more. We should be excited when we see someone come to faith. We should be joyous when we see someone turn from sin and turn to Christ. I know today was a short episode and it was supposed to be. I'm outside, I'm here, I'm in the middle of the karate camp. I've got the kids inside with our helpers taking their first break. And I just wanted to take an opportunity to tell you this, that if you have people in your life and you're encouraging them to come to Christ, if they come to Christ, rejoice over that. Rejoice with them, rejoice for them and thank God for them because that is a work of God. That's not something they did. That is something that God did on their behalf. And we should rejoice in the presence. We should rejoice with the angels who rejoice over the repentance of even one sinner. So that is Coffee and a Calvinist. Coffee with a Calvinist today. I hope today was an encouragement to you, even though it was short. I hope that you read this whole chapter and especially be encouraged by the story of the prodigal son. It's one of the most wonderful and touching stories in all the Bible. And it reminds us about the wonderful fatherhood of God because the father in the picture, of course, is representing God himself. This Sunday, I'm gonna be preaching on Father's Day at Sovereign Grace Family Church, and I'm gonna be preaching on the blessing of the fatherhood of God. So I would hope that you would come and join us. We have service at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning, and you are welcome to come and visit with us, and we would love to have you. We have Sunday school at 9.30 as well. If you're interested in coming, it's preached and taught by Brother Andy Montoro. Thank you for watching this video today. Again, if you enjoyed it, please take a moment, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all those things I ask you to do because it helps us reach a wider audience. Again, thank you for watching Coffee with a Calvinist. My name is Keith Foskey, and I am a Calvinist.